The weird group's been part of my whole life. And that's because my father worked for most of his life for the weird group. So the earliest memories I have of a place of work, and these are from age four, the weird subsidiary in Drysdale in Glasgow. And my father would take me around at weekends when it was quiet. And I'd walk along the shop floor and I thought it was magical. It doesn't get much better than having the chance to come back and cheer the firm that you've had a family connection with all your life. It's very, very special. Yeah, I started when I was 16, and then when my father retired, I became chairman and chief executive. I then worked until 1999, and that's when I retired. And I think that it is 71 years since I first started there. It is half the company's lifetime, pretty nearly. I never, never really wanted to do anything else. James Weir, really from his earliest days as, a, as an apprentice, was of a very inventive mind. He produced the first really reliable direct acting feed pump. The second invention he made was what's called the, uh, the closed feed heating system. And the third invention, he produced really the first reliable desalination plant. What I like to think is that it still has the same attitudes as he did, and that really the, over the years, consistently, the company has had the same sort of attitude as, as he did. And that is that being willing to change. That's the most important characteristic of the company. And the fact of the matter is that companies who uh, companies who aren't willing to change, they don't last 150 years. When we think about what has made we're successful, um, innovation is absolutely at the heart of it. What I love most about my job is the genuine ability to make a difference. Our lab is dedicated to innovation and new technology. We were some of the first to come up with hammerless locking systems. Uh, we are the first to come up with digital products that do what ours do, and these semi-autonomous products. Look at these beautiful machines. This is a mid-sized pump, but 10 years ago it was huge. You can't stay still at Weir, and this is a place where you can make your dreams reality. You can get a concept, a design, equipment, a product, and make it happen. La innovación, el interés de hacer nuevas cosas, De por parte de la empresa y por parte del personal. Just turning things on their head and saying, if we didn't think this way about how this process has to work, how else could it be done? Weir has a long heritage of innovation, and that's deeply embedded in its DNA. What really matters is taking the very gifted engineers who come to work with us and putting them at the heart of a community that sustains and supports them. The one main thing that I love about my job is definitely the team that I work in. One thing that really helps, makes Weir stand out to me is just, just the people that I work with. It's the people. We have amazing group of people. Everyone is super friendly, super nice, just kind of gathers around each other. I feel like it, it does kind of feel like a family vibe. I think people really respect each other and I enjoy working with my coworkers. That support each other, that challenge each other. Uh, it's why I came back. We have people who are coming from different places. We all have different perspectives, but we always find ways of working with each other and working in harmony. Ser parte de We Are is una emoción, es sentirse parte de un gran equipo. There's a spirit of caring. The amount of volunteering that our employees do, it's incredible. What I enjoy the most about doing these uh, outreach projects with our graduate team is definitely putting a smile on these little kids' faces. They come from abused homes, so it's, it's nice to see that they are receiving their education, they have equal opportunities, and I also feel the need to definitely give back, especially when we are fortunate enough to have these things that many people don't have in their lives. Someday they can become the future leaders of our society. That is definitely what our outreach project is trying to do. The thing that makes one company better than another, the thing that separates the best from the rest, 
is the people. I'd never seen a company which has such a consistent culture in all four corners of the world. We all work together, we've all got a shared vision of the future, but we have at our heart that shared ambition to be really, really successful and be the best that we can be. And I'm especially proud of how today we're running the company in a way that treats the world we're working in with respect, creating businesses that are responsible and sustainable. By far, my proudest achievement here is, has been driving our sustainability agenda. I look for ways that we can lessen steel usage and CO2 emissions. We have clear targets of what we want to accomplish next year and five years out. It's really all about saving energy. Speed is very important. We are saving energy like crazy. We're so sustainable, we can't even shoot a video on sustainability. <laughs> so if you can save a customer from using one ton of steel, you save them from consuming one ton of CO2. We are es una empresa que siempre está innovando tecnológicamente en todas las áreas. Nos ayuda bastante a recuperar agua y a reducir el consumo de agua de todos los equipos. Three to four percent of the world's energy gets consumed in the mining industry. So we need to change that. That needs to transform. So you need to still be able to get these minerals for the, the decarbonization agenda but using significantly less energy, water and waste. If you think about it, you've got a mining industry that needs to adopt new technologies and innovate to reach its own net zero targets. The demand for the metals that we help to produce, such as copper, gold, lithium and nickel, um, is going to grow very strongly as the world electrifies and decarbonizes. And we're there to provide the technology that they're going to enable that. So um, I think, you know, it's all to play for uh, in the next few years. Diversity is ever more important. Because if we can create an environment where anybody, whatever their background, whatever their personal choices, feels at home, then that is going to create the environment where we will attract more and more diversity. And with more and more diversity, the answers to the problems that we're trying to solve will just get better and better. I would tell any young woman thinking about going into engineering to give it a go. To me, don't worry too much about what that means as a career. It's a really versatile, flexible career to go into. And it's just all about solving problems and you can apply that to anything. My leadership experience is a female. In most cases, uh, men do not want to be led by females. So we sometimes meet some hiccups but we face every challenge as an opportunity to grow. I have always chosen uh, apparently male-dominated fields. I, I was a wildland firefighter. I worked out in the fields in high school. I've just chosen jobs that are harder, tougher, more male-dominated, and it doesn't really matter. It's what drives your passion, and I came in to this career trying to change the world, and I found that engineering does that. Yo trabajo en un equipo donde somos de ingenieras y somos tres mujeres. We have seven women, including myself. Yo me siento orgullosa de ser mecánica. Para estar en una empresa tan grande, uno tiene que sentirse preparada. We ha sido mi vida estos últimos cuatro años y han sido unos cuatro años maravillosos de mi vida. We got a women's network. I think it was 2014, and it was you know four women started it, and now it's you know sponsored. It's it's grown with Weir. It's it's grown geographically. It's incredible. Diversity and inclusion uh, is hugely important to Weir. I'm I'm from Chile. We have people from Australia. We have people from North America. We have people from Africa. It's absolutely diverse. And when when we get together, when you bring those groups of people together, it's very obvious. The biggest uh, opportunity that diversity brings is that diversity of thought. You just look at things differently, you see things differently in an organisation. We really are a global community who I consider not just colleagues, I consider friends. And that's what I really value most about, about we. This will stop my hands. <laughs> at WEIR, we have to put the customer first every day. We have to remember that they are doing incredibly difficult things in challenging parts of the world, often in extreme environments, and they need suppliers like Weir who can be their true partners, who can help them meet the obstacles and deliver every day, whatever the circumstances, in true partnership. And that's what we deliver at Weir. Our customers are pretty amazing. Probably the biggest strength of Weir is our customer focus. You need to see how you can engage with a customer. 
that he's gonna, you're going to listen to him, he's going to listen to you. And that is part of the essence of being a weird person. That's a key factor in getting results for the customer. When there is a customer issue, our team is driven to solve those issues. Weir's ethos is to be there when the customer needs them, when the customer needs us. And that's why we are located so close to all of our customers. It's at the heart of everything we do. One of the main conveniences of having the Weir Service Centre in our state locally is that in a crunch, we're able to get equipment, parts and other resources almost immediately. Weir Minerals has our back when we need it and not worry about that is, it's very comforting. Uh, anytime we text, call, anything, he's right there. At two o'clock in the morning when the cyclone feed pump goes down, they can get in touch with me and I'm gonna get answers and I'm gonna get solutions for these guys so they keep running. And I think that Weir Minerals knows that, understands that, and not only knows it and understands it, but gives me the support and what I need in order to do that. I think that when you respect each other, that characteristic transcends when you're talking to a customer. We are genuinely interested in helping solve their problems. We're not just wanting to make another product and sell them another thing. We want to help solve their problem. La relación con el cliente es súper importante. Que el cliente confía en ti y confía en las soluciones en las que tú le estás dando a sus problemas. La clave es es la confianza. I've got a call from a customer saying they need a bolt and they've gotten in their ute and driven six hours to deliver the part that this guy needs to keep his site running. Here we are at Anglo El Soldado in the north of Chile. I'm here with uh, three great country cats, Nelson, Sergio and Silvia, visiting the new CFP plant that was going to be commissioned in the next month. Almost everything we are equipment. This is exactly the essence of we are minerals, being close to the customers at mine sites visiting them and helping them support their needs. La empatía que tenemos nosotros con los clientes, que nos ponemos en el lugar de él y tratamos de darle soluciones a acuerdo a las necesidades de lo que tiene cada uno de ellos. Um, one of the things that I've that I, that I heard of we employees say a few years ago was that miracles are just part of the service. Did he say that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Darren. No, it might have been John. He was just say, yeah, I did. I, yeah, said, I, say, I always say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope they don't put that in. <laughs> Well, the thing I'm most proud about is that it's managed to last for 150 years. Always growing, always evolving. John Stan, I think, says, you know, it's a place where you can do the best work of your life. Would really love to live to be you know, another 150 years to see what we are in another 150 years' time. We see things differently. We don't want to follow, we want to lead. We are we are. <laughs>